Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Next.js for beginners. In this series, we will start from scratch and learn the different concepts in Next.js. Specifically, we will focus on Next.js version 14 or above, depending on when you're watching. In this introductory video, I will briefly talk about what Next.js is, why you might want to learn it, and the prerequisites to get started. Let's begin with what is Next.js. Next.js is a React framework for building web applications. When building applications with React alone, it's not feasible to create a fully featured application ready for production. React is a library for building user interfaces responsible only for the view layer of an application. As a developer, you need to make decisions about other features such as routing, data fetching, and more. Next.js, on the other hand, is a React framework. It uses React for building user interfaces, but also provides additional features that enable you to build production-ready applications. These features include routing, optimized rendering, data fetching, bundling, compiling, and more. You don't need to install additional packages as Next.js provides everything you need. However, keep in mind that Next.js, being a framework, has opinions and conventions that should be followed to implement these features. There is no need to worry though, as the conventions have emerged from a team with years of experience in writing React applications for production. To reiterate, Next.js is a React framework for building production-ready applications for the web. Now that we know what Next.js is, let's see why you might want to learn it. The reason to learn Next.js stems from the fact that it simplifies the process of building a web application for production. Let me list some of the noteworthy features that Next.js provides out of the box. The first one is routing. When building a React app, you need to install a third-party routing package, configure it, and add code every time you need to create a route. Next.js offers file-based routing, simplifying the task of creating routes and eliminating the need for third-party routing packages. The second feature is API routes, and this might come as a surprise to many of you. However, Next.js allows you to create APIs, making it a truly full-stack framework. With Next.js, you can write both the front-end code in React and the APIs that can be called by the React app. The third feature is rendering. Next.js supports both server-side and client-side rendering. When used correctly, it can result in better performance and SEO, which is something we all want. The fourth feature is data fetching. Next.js offers simplified data fetching with async await support in React components. Next.js also supports your preferred styling methods, including CSS modules, Tailwind CSS, and CSS in JS. Next.js also provides optimization out of the box for images, fonts, and scripts to improve your application's core web vitals and user experience. Last but not least, Next.js provides a well-optimized development and production build system, allowing you to focus on coding rather than configuration. The combination of these features makes Next.js an amazing framework to work with. Throughout the series, we will learn these features in detail. Also, please note that I might refer to Next.js as just next in the series, so please don't get confused. To get started with Next.js, you need to have a solid understanding of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript fundamentals. We will be using ES6 Plus features, so make sure you're familiar with modern JavaScript concepts as well. Since Next.js is a React framework, it is essential to have a good understanding of React fundamentals. You don't need to be an expert, but concepts like function components, props, state, JSX, and hooks are required. If you're new to React, I have an extensive tutorial series that covers React from beginner to advanced levels, so make sure to check that out. My goal is to guide you from a complete beginner to becoming an expert in Next.js. All the source code related to this series can be found in my GitHub repository, which is linked in the video description. With this introduction, let's start with a simple Hello World application in the next video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for plenty of Next.js content, and I'll see you in the next one.